good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. There are few places where one can pursue my type of work without fear of persecution. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Thank you. I'll look these over and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these. Until next time. Always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. Did he now? Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? Something that men and mare fought over? I'll have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike anything we've seen before. Aliad, Gwemma, Daedric, or even Farmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious indeed. No, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years of experience. But can you feel that? This marvelous object. It practically radiates magicka, and yet it's unlike anything I've felt before. Archmage Aaron is already hard at work, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I must intrude. It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We're involved in serious research here. Yes, I've no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later time, when we can avoid interruptions. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. Really? Well, allow me to clarify the situation. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Sigic Order here in the College. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you specifically. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. I'll be the one asking the questions. All you need to know is that the Sigic Order is a rogue organization, believing themselves to be above the law. They have clashed with the Old Mary Dominion before, and I have no intention of allowing that to happen here. Now, you are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here, and then he will be removed from college grounds.
Please do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. It is good to meet you in person. I'd simply like to talk to you. I've given us a chance to speak privately. But I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance. And attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object. The Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. You set this chain of events in motion at Sarthor. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm all too aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano, your Thalmor associate. Nevertheless, my Order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. As you may have learned, this object, the Eye, is immensely powerful. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the Order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon, something that cannot be avoided. Unfortunately, the future is as obscure to us as it is to you. The overwhelming power of the Eye makes it difficult for us to see. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my Order. But I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. He was once a student here at the college. Now he is... something different. I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help, but this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. I'm sorry. Where were you about to what say What is the something? meaning of this? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't play coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here he is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am not up to anything. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. We will see about this. I'm... I'm not sure what happened. A monk from the Sigic Order. Here after all these years and then... He just leaves. I hope we didn't offend him somehow. Beyond asking for you, he never said. Very strange indeed. Has Tolfdia been telling stories again? I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Please, don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. Uh, until next time. There are few places where one can pursue my type of work without fear of persecution.
I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Now Are we clear? I'm working on some very important research, I assure you. What? The Augur? Oh no, I'm quite sure that's... He's nothing I'm involved in. No, no. Mirabel Irvine, or Tolfdir. They're qualified to discuss him. Not me. Definitely not. Until next time. Enchanting services are one of the few things that keep us in touch with the rest of Skyrim.
It's always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing it. Well now, there's a name I haven't heard in some time. My goodness, it's been years since I've spoken with him. I suppose he's still down in the midden, but I haven't checked. Are you going to see him? Do tell him hello for me, won't you? Underneath the college. It's not the nicest place, so if you go down there, please do be careful. Take care now. I'm not sure what just happened, but I assure you I will get to the bottom of it. Whatever it is those Sijiks are up to, they cannot be trusted. For all we know, he's here to scout out the college. I'm sure they want to undermine our efforts. This, this orb, the Eye of Magnus, whatever you want to call it, it's clearly powerful, and no doubt they want it for themselves. I expect to be informed if they make any future attempts to contact you. The what? No, no, I'm quite sure I have no idea what you're talking about. I suggest you mind your own business and return to whatever it is you do here. Can you... can you possibly help Jazargo? It is difficult to admit, but Jezargo could still use some help. Jezargo has seen that Tofdir likes you. You must be very skilled with magic, yes? Jezargo is working hard, but cannot do it alone. Can you help with this? Jezargo has worked hard on learning new spells, trying new things. This will make Jezargo stand out as a mage. But Jezargo works so hard, there is no time to test these new spells. If you help with the testing, this will make learning easier. Jezargo will give you scrolls. You will use them and report the results. This is a good plan, no? You tell Jezargo when you are ready. <laughs> you can resist, can you? Let's see. This one, I think. Jezargo has designed it to be an excellent flame cloak. With a twist. It is especially potent against the undead, and should burn them to a crisp in no time. Jezargo gives you plenty of these scrolls, so you try them and return when you can say whether they work. Jezargo awaits word of how well his scrolls work. It's always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. I need your help with something. Something private. Yes, but it needs to be kept quiet. I may have entered into an agreement with Enther. He had something I needed, so I traded him something of mine. It was a mistake, and now I want back what I gave him. It's an amulet that belonged to my family, and I never should have given it to Enther. But he won't deal with me. Talk to him. See what it'll take to get my amulet back. I'd better get going. If you have a moment, could you help me with something? Didn't you know? Before the Oblivion Crisis, many elves called Winterhold their home. More visited the college from Morrowind every year. After, growing distrust of magic made life difficult for many. Some left rather than endure the growing hatred from the local Nords. Others returned home after the Red Year, when Vardenfell erupted and caused much destruction. Winterhold itself died in the years between then and now. What's left out there is a husk. Only the college really remains. So far, if only because no one is telling me how great I ought to be, I just want to learn. I don't want to think about what's expected of me. We're all trying to become better mages, right? Well, I need someone I can practice a few spells on. Nothing dangerous, really. Would you be willing to assist me? Oh, good. I was afraid I'd have to go ask Jezargo. Now, you just stand there. Please hold still, and don't move. There! Now I... 
Oh dear. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you... Do you feel all right? You look very... Um... Green. I am so very sorry. I went over this again and again, and I was sure it would have better results. It's not. It shouldn't be. You'll be back to normal in no time. And when you are, we can try this again, and I'll be sure to get it right. Mm-hmm. <laughs>